Hello techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. In this module, we will learn a simple example how HR interview will process, what are the process data, they will insert the data into the SQL Server. All right, in the previous session, we have seen how to work with different database actions. That is one with open SQL connection, second one, execute a SQL statement, third one, close an Excel. By using these actions, we have established the connection between Power Automate Desktop and SQL Server. And after that, by using SQL statement, that is execute SQL statement action, we have retrieved the data from the database and then we have returned the data in the Excel by using write to Excel worksheet. And finally, we have closed the SQL connection. This is what we have seen in the previous session. In this module, we will learn how to insert the data into the SQL database. If you see over here, I'm having the database company. In that database, I'm having the table HR process. I want to insert the data into the HR process table, which I was going through the you know HR employee selection process. Let me show you an example for the employee selection. If you see on my screen, I'm having Excel with the employee selection. There I'm having name, email ID, status, and the date of joining. If you see, let's assume today I have uh, interviewed some of the employees, some of the candidates. There you can find it out all the details over here, along with their email IDs. And then once their interview process has been completed, we can give the status as selected or rejected. Right? Once the employee has been, once the candidate has been selected, then we will provide the date of joining. These kind of excels will get it on the day, on the daily basis, or weekly basis, or monthly basis. We will get it. How can we automate this one to insert the data to keep, you know, to keep history in our database? This is my main agenda over here in this module. All right, let me switch to Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. I have created a new flow with the name of Learning Database Actions. So that what we are going to do, we are going to be establish the connection between Power Automate Desktop as well as SQL Server Management Studio. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to use database actions to establish the connection or to open the connection, right? What is the action that we will use? Open SQL connection under the database actions. Let me drag and drop this open SQL connection first. And there it will ask the, for the connection string. What is the connection string which we are going to use? If you see in our previous session, we have used uh, the same connection string that is driver equal to SQL server, S server equal to local host slash SQL 2012, uh, integrated security equal to true, and the database is company, right? Now let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now, before working with the execute SQL statement, I will tell you a few more things. In this module, what we are going to do, we are going to work with SQL Server stored procedures because of, in the previous session, we have simply used select query to retrieve the data. But some of my students asked me, uh, you know, how can we go ahead and work with the stored procedures? So that I will cover that part also over here in this module. Let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio. Over here, if you see, I have created a new table with the name of HR process. There I'm having column names as identity as an ID, name, email ID, status, and date of joining, which we have seen in the Excel. The same kind of columns also, I'm going to use it over here to insert into the table. All right. Now I have created one stored procedure with the name of SP underscore insert HR process. If you see over here, in this, for this stored procedure, I'm passing at the rate of name, at the rate of email ID, at the rate of status, at the rate of date of joining. These details will be passed from the Excel by using Power Automate, using execute SQL statement. All right. So if you see over here what this stored proc will do, I'm just going to insert the details into the HR process with at the rate of name, at the rate of email ID, at the rate of status, at the rate of date of joining. This is the simple stored proc which we are going to use it. All right, now what we are going to do, 
we have created a store proc we have created a table as part of sql server management studio now let me go back to my power my desktop there what i'm going to do i'm going to work with the action execute sql statement let me drag and drop this execute sql statement onto the workspace now if you see get connection by what is the connection i am already having the variable with the name of sql connection that is the same variable i am going to use it over here and if you see sql connection that is the same existing connection which we have seen as part of step 1 correct now if you see the sql statement what is the sql statement we are going to use it to over here if you see over here i am going to pass this query or the store procedure over here how i am going to pass it execute that is exe which i am going to write it over there uh, you know as part of the sql statement i am going to use the same thing execute sp underscore insert hr process the same thing which i am going to use it over here also okay now if you see i want to pass the parameters now let me see, show you over here if you see it is expecting at the rate of name at the rate of email id at the rate of status at the rate of date of joining all right so how can we go ahead and pass the data over here so as of now i'm not going to be pass anything i will show you how to do that okay for the time being what i'm going to do i'm going to just giving execute sp underscore insert hr process just the name i'm going to give it and then i'm going to save it all right now we have opened the connection we have executed partially sql statement and then as a final step i'm going to close the sql connection which i have opened as part of part 1 now our portion for the you know sql related portion has been completed successfully now the main agenda is that from where i need to fetch the data i am having the data in the excel all right in that excel i need to fetch the data and then i have to insert the data into the database by using execute sql statement this is my main agenda right so how can we establish the connection right now for the excel go to the excel actions there you will find launch excel now i'm going to launch I, i'm going to launch excel action onto the workspace let me drag and drop now if you see it is asking launch excel with the blank document no i'm already having a document so that i am going to select and open the following document open the following document where is this document is located on my documents you are having employee selection let me select that now for the password i'm not going to use any kind of password the variable produce for the excel i'm having excel instance now let me go ahead let me save it now excel connectivity has been happened now i want to read the data from the excel so that i'm going to use read from excel worksheet that action i'm going to drag and drop after launch excel okay let me release that on the workspace now if you see excel instance i am having already which exists uh, which instance that we have used as a part of launch excel we are going to use excel instance the same instance i am going to use it now if you see the retrieve i want retrieve from the ranges so if you see over here start range is a2 let me show you the excel once again if you see i don't want the columns i am just going to use data right from a2 to d6 okay this range i am going to use it over here okay read from excel worksheet so what is the starting column a and the row is 2 and the end column is d and the row is 6 and then what i am going to do i am going to be what are the variables produced i am going to store this data in the excel data now let me go ahead let me click on save now if you see enter data we have read it and we are storing the data in the excel data now we are having the data with us right so in which format that we are having if you see the data table over here i am having data table format of this data entire data now over here what i am going to do to read each and every call every row of this data table i am going to use for each loop over here now let me go to loops actions over there you will find for each loop what it will do it iterates over the items 
that whatever we have collected as part of the Excel data, it will go to the through the data table for each and every row, and then it will execute based on that. All right. Now I'm going to drag and drop this for each loop onto the workspace. Now, if you see value to iterate, what is the value that we have to iterate from the Excel data? Let me go to the functions. There, I'm going to select Excel data. Let me select that. Now, let me go ahead. Let me save that. If you see over here, what is the variable produce? It will variable produce the current item. It will go through the each and every row and it will fetch the current item over there and then it will stores in the current item. Let me go ahead. Let me click on save. Now, if you see what happened for each current item in the uh, current item in Excel data, I want to do some functionality, right? What is that? I want to execute the SQL statement. Now, let me drag execute SQL statement into the for each loop. Let me drag that. Now, if you see over here, what will happen for each and every data row, we are going to be executing this statement over here. Now, I'm going to modify this execute SQL statement. Let me double click on edit action. Now, if you see, I have partially filled previously execute SQL statement. Now I have to pass the parameters over here. How can I go ahead and pass the parameters by clicking on function? You will see current item current item. I'm going to select it over here. So I have to pass this in the single quotes, but if you pass the entire current item, it won't take the values. So in the current item, I am having index as zero, one, two, three, and four. Because if you see, I'm having one, two, three, four parameters I need to pass it. So my index will start from zero so that I'm going to pass it current item of zero over here. And then I'm going to pass each and everything over here as current item as zero, one, two, three, and four. Now you may ask why you are going to give this value in the single quotes. So because of we are going to be pass it as a string to the particular parameter. If, if you see in our store procedure, what it is expecting at the rate of name, it is in varchar, okay, email ID, varchar, status, varchar, and the date of joining in the date format. So that I'm going to be uh, all the parameters I'm passing in single quotes. All right, now let me go ahead, let me save it. Our flow is almost ready. Now if you see, we have opened the SQL connection and we have closed the SQL connection. In the same way, launch Excel also, we need to close the Excel. So how can we close that? By drag and dropping this close Excel onto the workspace. Now I'm going to close Excel instance. So before closing an Excel, I don't, I want to save the Excel. No, we don't want to save that Excel, which we have been used as a read only. Okay. Now let me go ahead. Let me click on save. Now let me save the flow by clicking on control S. Let me click on OK. Now let me go to the database once again. And then I will see if there any data in the HR process or not. Now, how can I go ahead and do that? By using select top thousand records or top 10 records is fine. Now if you see my entire data is blank. Now let me go ahead. Let me run the flow by clicking on run. Now if you see flow execution has been started. Now, as a second step, read from Excel worksheet also completed. Open SQL connection has been completed. And you can see it is going through the loops multiple times because of we are having n number of records over there in my Excel. Now, the flow has been executed successfully. It has been closed SQL connection and closed the Excel also. Now, let me go back to my SQL query once again, the select query. Let me go ahead. Let me click on F5 or execute the query. If you see, all the data has been inserted successfully. Now, if you can see, I'm having Amir and the email ID and the status and the date of joining. And if you see another name, LT learning technologies is the email ID rejected and the date of joining is 1900 because of it's a, you know, I'm going to pass it as a null so that in my date, it is going to be taken as 1900s. All right, let me explain you the process once again. As part of the HR selection process, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be inserting, I'm going to get the data from the Excel and then I want to insert the data into the database in the table of HR process. This is my routine process so that I'm going to automate this by using my Power Automate desktop. As a first step, I'm going to launch the Excel and then I'm going to read the data from the Excel based on the required column and the rows.
and then once the data has been read from the action then i'm going to open the sql connection which establishes the connection between power automate desktop as well as the sql server and then uh, i'm going to use for each loop so that it will be it will go through the iterations which we have read from the excel and there it will execute the sql statement for each and every current item which we are having in the current item and then we are going to close the connection and we are going to close the excel as part of this database actions i hope you understand how to work with different database actions along with stored procedures and also we have seen different excel actions as part of this module and also as an extra activity we have seen how to work with for each action as part of this module thank you for watching power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day